Hello and welcome to another episode of This Is Africa Outdoors. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to catch giant bream. First of all, um, for bait, that's the most important thing. We use earthworms. This is our wormery. It's made up of a bathtub and you just throw all your compost in here. You don't throw any citrus or any onions or anything like that and no meat because that attracts ants and onions and citrus burn the earthworms. Then if you just come over here, you can see what it looks like. You just start off with a bit of soil and then you just add all your biodegradable waste. And this is full of worms. Come in here and just have a look at this. Look at that. Look at all the worms just under there. There's just so many. You don't even need to pick them out with your hand. You can just scoop some and just put it in a container. This is by far the best bream bait. You won't find anything better in my opinion. Worms. It's the best bait. And yeah, that's your bait. Yeah. Okay, so this is the dam where we'll be catching the bream. Um, we call them bream here in Zimbabwe. It's a nice big dam, good water quality, nice deep green color, but still clear. What we're going to do is we're going to walk across this dam wall here. And you can see there's some baboons over there. And then we're going to walk along this edge to that cove over there because it's much shallower there and bream tend to like the more shallow areas and yeah let's see if we can catch some it's quite a long walk there's lots of dangerous animals including all the big five plus hippos crocodiles and snakes so hopefully we make it there and back safely let's do it oh a tiger fish jumped yeah we mustn't bring the tiger on we've done we've caught big tiger it's fine Hopefully we actually catch a bream because it's hard. It's winter time right now and bream fishing is tough in winter. Oh, look at the hippo. Some small tilapia over there. No, we don't want to catch small tilapia. I know, we want to catch big ones. But if we ever some small ones over there. This would probably be the best spot. Yeah, it's a good spot. In fact, here's another spot where the visibility only increases slightly. Okay, so this is where a hippo sleeps just comes up here to chill in the sun on a cold day you can see it's skin curtain and it lies down all over here you don't want to meet that hippos are one of the most dangerous animals in Africa but everyone would go okay this is a very dangerous part you can meet both black rhino Buffalo and elephant and hippos in this thick bush. You should carry your backpack on only one shoulder then because then if something comes you can just drop all your stuff and run. For safety, you too. It's for safety reasons. Please and don't just check our video, it's not that dangerous. And just listen, like that's your biggest advantage. But it's bad on a windy day because can't hear anything. And our wind is blowing straight to where they are. Be careful of these storms. Yeah, if you if you have a boat, it's fine. You don't have to do this. But if you can't use your boat, you have to rough it on the bank. This is not going to work. It's going to be extremely painful. This is a thorn tree. Just go fast. Try step on the thickest ones. Go. See, wasn't that good? 
Okay, so this is the fishing spot. We have to be quite quiet to listen for dangerous animals. But you can see the gradient into the water is quite shallow. And there's some structure around here for the bream to hide in. That's why the spot is normally a good spot. Let's try to catch some. I think we can sit up here. Huh? Mm. Well, let's go to that next spot. Let's be extremely careful. Okay, so my, I've got my setup here. This is a Berkeley Cherry Wood 6x6 medium light rod, and I've got a Shimano spinning reel, just small, small spinning reel. I normally use a 1000 size on this rod, but it had no line, so I just put this 2500 on with some 15 pound braid. And I've got a 15 pound monofilament leader about one meter over one meter of that, and then what. The, the tackle and rig for bream fishing is very, very simple. All you need to do is get a small sinker. It doesn't really matter the exact size. If it's more windy, you can put a big sinker. Uh, this is a quarter ounce sinker. And you don't need any fancy knot because sometimes the sinker gets caught in the rocks and it's better if the sinker snaps than both the sinker and the hook. So just try to tie a knot like that. We can cut off this tag later up the line a bit like that far make a loop just like that if you can see that and then you just tie a knot in it this knot always works you don't need anything super fancy strong enough like that just like that and then to attach your hook this is a size 2 mustad hook just get the loop like this the eye of the hook and bring it round and over and that's a very very solid connection right there and that's your rig simple bream fishing rig just like that and then you can of course bite your tag to make it a bit more neat and that's it now we're going to pack that with worms and catch the bream okay so we've got our worms for bait here Shouldn't have added so much soil, but anyway. Nice juicy red worms. They're quite small, these red worms, so you need to put a lot. And people normally underpack their, their hook with worms. You need to make sure, if you want to catch big bream especially, you need to make sure that your hook is totally packed. Like, you can't even fit any more on. Because that's how you catch big ones. You might say this hook is quite big, but these bream have very big mouths, so. And it is winter, so it's quite tough to catch them. Hopefully we can. And hopefully they're in the spot. They often move around. That's why a boat is very advantageous, because you can move around. You see, you can even put more, but that's a good amount of worms right there. And then you just want to come along the bank. There might be a lot of snags. Still check for buffalo. Very careful. I'm excited if that's over there is a snag or if it's a shadow from the street from the street. one finger on the line like this and reel it back slow well just pull it back slowly like this you can feel it dragging on the bottom and if there's a bite you'll feel it through the line and then when you get back up to here you reel back down put your hand on it again and slowly lift it up again that's the basic way we fish for bream Simple. 
time to get snagged, people. It's way overdue. To be honest. Was it a bite? It goes like anywhere where there's a fallen down tree like this, there's normally bream. But they don't stay very far out. If you want a sinker, you should get one. Oh, I see bream. I see a nasp. Big one. Oh, come here quickly. Not super big, but nice. Oh, there's a lot down there, bro. There we go. Tilapia on. It's a little one. Look how beautiful that fish is, guys. Look at that fish. So lovely. So the good people at UC. This type of chill Get it, get it out. Oh, there it goes. Where did we step from here? Yeah. Onto this thing. I get it off. I hooked it properly, just saying. This is just the wires. Right? Yeah, I know. You hooked it properly. Another red breast tilapia. Such a beautiful fishy. It looks like a crossbreed, that. No, it's not. It's just a male. I mean, a female, so it doesn't have the red breast. Beautiful fish right there. Bought by Ben. You see, um,. These smaller tilapia like to hide by places like this where branches are in the water because they can hide from the predatory tiger fish and crocodiles. So always if you want to catch some tilapia, look for structure like this. I could see them from on top of the tree. Mm, there's a lot, eh? And I could see when it ate my thing. That's how I caught that last one. But it's, oh, it's eating. Here we go. It's a nice size. Actually, no, it's smaller than the last one. They crazy little fish. It's quite fun to catch them. In most places, this would be considered like an eating size one. You probably could eat it, but they do get a lot bigger in this dam. So, yeah, and also it's hard to carry back and it takes long to fill it. So, bye bye, little buddy. This is actually too easy with the glasses, like cheating. Yeah, the glasses really help. You should. I made you bleed. Beautiful release. Beautiful release for you, too. We go and catch it again. Same hook, not even put on a worm. It won't work. Are you watching? Without, you don't even to, have any to worm. Proof that fishing is a lie. If you actually catch. Fish on. Ah, uh, uh, I lied. I made a massive bird's nest for myself. Oh, trying to help me. No, I don't know what happened. I legit don't even know. And these small ones are super hungry. Oh, there we go. Oh no! Was it a big one? Came off. Chuck us another worm. Oh, what a monster! Oh, what a monster! I'll get you a worm because I don't even bend down to get a worm. We, this is too easy actually. We're probably catching the same fish again, I'm telling you. We'll put a mark on it. 
We need fish tags. If we're using small hooks, it'll be super hard to take the hook out. Because they don't close their mouth. Ah. Oh. Because they don't open their mouth. You put like five in the time I put two. I'm trying with only a tiny bit of worm. Oh, I had a bite. I'll be taking the whole worm. Ah, Tom. That's this lumpsy item. Look how small it is. Okay, you should... And I fish right here where I can see. Actually. You're gonna catch them straight away. Oh. Oh, Little guy. Oh, no, we're gonna have to cast for a second time. Oh, there they are, there they are. Yeah. Do you see any? Oh, uh, there's a nasp. There's so many. Let me put the worm oh, over there. Worm? I'm gonna put it over there. Get them high up, but they're at our height, so I don't have to keep bringing them down. It would be very nice. They actually are all just sitting in that shadow. There's so yeah. many, huh? There's a ton. If you had a throw in it right now. Little red breast. Look how I've already been bitten by something. Yeah? Please pass me a worm. Can you, in fact, can you put a worm on my hook? Tom. It's right there. It's on, yeah. Oh, come on, it's almost yeah. touch, it's touching your arm. Five. Otherwise, I'll put it back down. Oh. Actually, it's okay. Mm. How can you not even put a worm for a boy? YouTube, if you don't have a boy, you can put a worm on for you. It's on. You only do that for girls. What percentage of your audience is wham? Like 0 0.1. Why? It's because they don't like fishing. Oh, oh. Everyone knows wham are not only evil. Only one thing and it's the How's it the <laughs> Why does they always get snagged on their fins like this? Well, it's not snagged, but it's in the mouth, but... Oh, you caught a different species. Uh, show YouTube. Show oh. YouTube, it's dying. Just wait. Yeah? So this is a Mozambique. A tilapia. black tilapia. This is actually a black tilapia. One, two, three. No, this is Mozambique tilapia. Oh. It's a beautiful fish. Uh, Mozambique tilapia has three spines. One, two, three. A black tilapia has four sharp spines down there. This is the Mozambique tilapia. Where's it gone? It's Why is it swimming that way? Because it's dumb. Where's it going? I don't know. Away. Catch it again. No, it won't eat again. I flex. Oh, that's a pretty one. Just take it off. No, you take it off. I'm oh, not. I can't. I'm on the sticks. No. They're breaking below me. Take it. I'm gonna drop it on the sticks, and I'm sorry, I'm not on special. I tried to get him to do it, but he didn't want. To. Are you having like a? Are you going into anaphylactic shock? Why are you shaking like that? Uh -uh. <laughs> Did you see? It also went that way. Ah, oh, Tony, where are they go? <laughs> you should go upstream and catch them again. Now my hands are slimy. I can't reach the water from here, nice. I don't think they want to bite anymore. Ah, oh, Tony, watch! I'll catch another one. Chuck us a worm, because I have none. Ah, oh, that's why they don't want to bite. Get your own worm. You made me undo my own fish. Yeah. No, I gave you. Give me a worm as well while you add it. Tom. Let's move. This place is boring now. It actually is boring. Yeah. This spot is going to be packed. Oh, come on. Oh, there's big ones here. Is it good? Mmm, big ones. Like 1 kg maybe. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Big fish, big fish. Oh, you're joking. Oh, I can't wait. I told oh, you. It's actually pretty big. It's actually a good size. Are we taking it to move to? Tom. Nice good. size. Breams? Actually, maybe we should, huh? I'll put it at the bank here. Keeping this one for eating. It's a good tasting fish. 
Good size too. The ground. Release that one. No one likes to eat that type. Why? Because that species is not tasty. No, they taste horrible, YouTube. I'm just making a joke. They're okay, but... Mm. They're a poorly flavored joke. If your demographics are right, though, most of you should be right. Yeah, I'm going to catch one almost instantly. Okay, you oh, that's a big one. Wait. Oh, red breast. No. That was some straight back to the tree. This is so easy. Uh, if we only kept one, I'm going to feel bad that we wasted it. We won't. Moxie will eat it. Watch, big one. Okay. No man, the wrong one ate it. Oh, I'm coming to fight your big one. It's around the back there. Bro, they're a bit deeper. Mm. It's frustrating. Open your mouth, you stinker. Oh, I Let me try catch it. You come right there, you'll catch. Yeah, try, try like there, yeah. <laughs> you are gonna take an owl. There, 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 there. It's eaten. Psych, you're dumbass. Let me just catch one right here. Oh, there, 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 you see it, no? I can't see it from your thing. Stupid bloody thing. Ate all my worm. Oh. You got him. Was a beaker. Is that the same one that you just? Oh, it's gone. Please take it off. No. I think I caught this one already. I swear I caught this one already. It's got the same brakes on its wing. Oh, and it's just sitting right there. It's actually, fish even on this side. I'm getting a bite instantly. Because they're not here. They were there. You saw them. They're not as big as that one that we caught. Oh, so where are the big ones? They're probably further out in the same spot. It's probably just fishing further out. Yeah, but what if I catch? Oh, sorry, Breen. But what? They're probably. Let me try there then. Uh, and I'm scared of crocodile on my creep up on us. Oh. Oh. But it's a beaker. Everybody also knows if you find the bream, you find the tigers. It's a good size for most dams, but for here it's a very small one. Oh. I'm stealing my rock again. Mm. There is. In there. In these bushes? Yeah. The stem is becoming a ratch. Why? You only catch small bream. Ah! Ah! Okay, on the it's in there. Good thing. <coughs> Big one, keeping size for Moxie. Into the packet, you go. Oh, no! <laughs> Came off. Oh, it's on. Pull, 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 pull. Just keep that one for Moxie. What is it 
Uh, it's fine, she eats it. Why, you feel bad because we only got one? Mm. Wow, this is the same one. Look at the cut. It's got the same cut. They all just like that. Do you think it swam from all the way there to come here? Yes. Tom. It's impossible. Stop it. Stop it. Stupid fish. What was that? What? Brown. It's a car. No. It was a one like, uh, then just tell me. Expose. Okay, if I turn it off. I still wouldn't tell you, but I'm just saying. But why? Never happened. Fake news. Never hit that item. Mm -hmm. With Banda. Away. I'm being really mean to him. Because mm, you don't want to tell me what it's like. And I'm 